Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So Kanye West has apologized for his anti-Semitic remarks in a new interview with Piers Morgan as part of his controversial media tour this week. Ye was initially apprehensive about apologizing, but he eventually reached a point in the interview where he took responsibility for his comments and showed remorse to those he hurt. Yeezy said he made the Death Con 3 comments knowing they were racist and admitted that hurt people hurt people. I will say I'm sorry for the people that I hurt with the DEF CON, the, the confusion that I call. I feel mm. like I call I cause hurt and confusion. And I'm sorry for the families of the people that had nothing to do with the the trauma that I had been through and that I use my platform where you say hurt people hurt people. And I I was hurt. Yeah. It's an uncensored interview. You said something which you've now wished you hadn't said and you've apologized. I actually think that says a lot about you. Right? That shows you've got that ability to be self-aware, to understand when you cross a line. I think someone like you, with all your energy and creativity and your passion, you're going to say stuff. The way that you talk constantly and in such an extraordinary manner, you're going to trip up. You're going to say things the wrong way. I don't think there's anything wrong in when you do that, doing what you just did and saying, look, I'm sorry, I crossed the line, I apologise. I want to say that it's wrong to hold an apology hostage mm. and i got to let go of that and free, you know, free myself of the trauma and say, look, I'm just going to give it all up to God right now and say to those families that I hurt, you know, I really want to give you guys a big hug. And I want to, uh, I say, I'm sorry for hurting you with my comments. And I want to word it in not a pres and not in like a political way, but in a presidential way, which means what I knew a president to be when I was growing up. In other Kanye West news, his divorce from Kim Kardashian has entered its final stages more than a year after the Skims mogul first filed the paperwork. In documents obtained by The Blast, Ye's lawyer has reportedly filed a declaration of disclosure, turning over all his financial documents to his estranged wife's legal team. He's also reportedly reached an agreement on how to divide finances and property. According to The Blast, in cases of this kind, the disclosure is filed within days or weeks of the final judgment and settlement being filed. Meanwhile, Dame Dash has admitted he's worried about Kanye West's well-being following his recent outburst. During a recent trip to London, the Rockefeller co-founder, who signed Ye to the label in 2002, appeared on Kick Games sneaker shopping series and was asked about his current thoughts on Kanye. Talk to me about Ye though, man. How do you feel about Ye right now? He's my brother. How often do you guys speak? Like, you not constantly in contact? Or? Not constantly. Yeah. When he needs me. And when I'm worried about him. How do you feel about him right now? He cool? Are you worried about him or is he? What do you think? I'm worried about him. Is he? I don't know, because I... Nigga, you can tell me. I'm, can I, I ask like, you a question? Is he bipolar or not? Did he tell you that? He did. He told so, the world that. So if you checked off the boxes of bipolar, is he acting that? Yeah. So then leave it at that. But you look, worry about his health if you care about him at all. But you don't think he's doing bits that, like, he's making sense to it? I, I'm just saying that, regardless to what, yeah. regardless to what he's saying, it's the way he's saying it. Yeah. So I don't care what he's saying. I want him about to how he's going about it. I want him to live. Yeah, OK. Y'all worried about the wrong shit. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. If you know a man has a problem, and you know he might be checking the boxes off for the mm -hmm. symptoms of that problem, why do you judge him as if he doesn't have a problem? It's, okay. it's not logical. But what do you think about Kanye's apology? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.